Welcome back to Carson Tate's video log. I'm here in Provincetown with Aurora Ray. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? I'm so great. So you have two books out now. I do. And your second book, Built to Last. Yes. Last year we talked about your first book. We did. It feels like Built to Last came out forever ago. It came out in April. I know, like, but time, time just flies, it does. doesn't it? So, oh. so I um, it's about someone who's um, renovating, a, renovating a, house. a home. And I'm certain that that's something you would use when you were renovating a home. Yeah, my character actually doesn't get to buy a tractor. She's thinking about it. Um, I own a tractor. <laughs> her name is Roberta. We call her Birdie. The is tractor, not your character. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although now I really want to name a ca character Roberta. We might have to do that at some I, point. But yeah, uh, Built to Last is mostly focused on the inside of the house. Um, you wouldn't use that on the inside of a house? I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, okay. Joss would frown upon that. Joss, Joss is a hot contractor. <laughs> he doesn't love a hot contractor. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Right. So, no. They, uh, so tell they us about the book. So you've got Josh the hot contractor. Josh the hot contractor and Olivia the English professor, who's Southern. She's from Atlanta. Southern. Atlanta. Um, she falls in love with and buys an old rundown farmhouse. And she hires Joss's family construction company to do the renovations. The only problem is Joss doesn't really like professors because she thinks that they're kind of stuck snooty. up and snooty and have more money than they know what to do with, which is not good if you live in a college town. Which True. This is Ithaca, New York, which is all college towns. But doesn't that happen in college towns sometimes? There's right. like the townies and then the, and the yes. university folks. So there's a little bit of that uh, town versus gown, as we call it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I like that. Um, but of course, they're attracted to one another because it's romance and that's, that's sure. how we roll. And Josh um, is a hot contractor. And a hot contractor. Yeah, it kind of fulfilled. I was house hunting when I was writing it and this essentially allowed me to live out all my HGTV fantasies. <laughs> um, so if you'd like to know what my HGT fantasies are, you can just read the book. Well, excellent. We'd love to find out what people's fantasies are. So, um... So th this this particular yeah. tractor is named Cat. It says it's right cat. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that that actually stands for? Yeah. Caterpillar. It's yeah. A, uh, that's what company. people tell me, but I prefer to think its name is Cat. Its name is Cat. Yeah. And um, so you've got another book coming out in March. Is that right? February? February. <sighs> February, right around the corner. Just finishing up the edits for it. It's called Crescent City Confidential. It is set in New Orleans. And you're from around there, right? I grew up like an hour outside of New Orleans. So this was very much kind of indulging the idea of going home. Excellent. I heard you read from it today. So that book, there's a writer, a mystery there's writer? There's a mystery writer. I may have gotten a few of my uh, little little tips and tricks from the Carson <laughs> Tate School of Mystery Writing. Um, and a woman who's a local, uh, a native New Orleanian, who shucks oysters by day and is a singer by night. She's in a band, but she also does kind of sultry jazz singing. Excellent. Um, and she doesn't date out of towners. Out of town versus town. Yeah. I, I town know, this doesn't have the same ring as town versus town. gown. Town versus tourist? Yeah, tourist. No, we'll tourist. Tourists. 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 Yeah, I don't know where that came <laughs> from, actually. Sorry. Okay, Crescent City Confidential. Yes, it's out in February. And I think it's available for pre-order on the Bullshrips Books website. I'm certain right it now. is. I think people should go order it. So they should you just you sign on and buy Built to Last. And Crescent City, just save yourself like the trouble and get a twofer. And the other thing you said today is that you're going to write a Provincetown book for every series. So the first one was Winter's Harbor. Yes. And then next October. Summer's Cove will come out October 2017. Excellent. Followed in the spring by Spring's Wake. And then we'll round it out in 2018 with Autumn's Light. I love that. I, will, I had to like cut like how many more Provincetown words that weren't used in Rad's Provincetown <laughs> titles. Like, I was really I was getting desperate by the end. Excellent. But it all worked out well. Excellent. Okay, well this is Aurora Ray and you should go buy all her books right this minute. And this is Carson Tate's video. Thank you for out. having me.